Adam and Jamie have already drunk themselves sideways for science, but there's no time to sleep it off. In fact, that's exactly the point of our next myth. Well, I've been thinking that along the lines of drinking myths, I have always wanted to do sobering up techniques, specifically because I've always wanted to see a high-speed shot of somebody getting smacked in the face. Well, as long as that somebody is you, I'm OK with it. Almost since the invention of alcohol, people have been drinking too much and then finding for one reason or another that they needed to get sober quickly. And they have tried a myriad of techniques. Techniques like drinking a big cup of black coffee. Vigorous exercise. It's also supposed to work. Dunk in your face in some ice water. That's also supposed to work. Also, your friends might be inclined to smack you in the face to sober you up. Of course, it all begins at the bar. And although we're going to test every one of these, we got to get drunk first. Buster, set me up. So the boys fall back off the wagon. So you in town for a long time, or are you here for the convention? Shut up. Leave me alone. There's those people skills hard at work. And that's just the first shot of five. Realizing that things might turn ugly, yeah. the producers got Adam to pre-record the plan. <coughs> because this whole story hinges on whether or not we are more or less sober, the researchers have found us the perfect test to determine that. This is a hand-eye coordination test that's very similar to one developed for astronauts. It simply involves staying at arm's length from a screen with weights on your arm and tracing this gray line. We are scored on both accuracy, how many times our line leaves the gray line, and for how long, and speed, how long it takes to make the whole journey. We've got a number of these. They're all different, but they're all the same length and involve the same number of turns. Jamie and I will each take one of these tests before trying the sobering up technique and take another one after take trying the sobering up technique. And we will each act as each other's controls, swapping out between techniques. Zdrowie. Zdrowie. They'll need to stay consistently drunk to validate the cures. This is like taking medicine or something. It's not, it takes all the fun out of it. I know what you mean, brother. Adam and Jamie are all set to test four mythical ways to sober up fast. Uh-oh. So far, all they've done is drink themselves stupid. Well, stupider. While Adam stays pleasantly pickled, Jamie tries the first detoxifier. The idea is black coffee. What are you doing? I'm the control. See? I don't think you're very much under control. I'm not under control. I am the control. You drink that whole cup of coffee, we wait five minutes, and then we test you cognitively and breathalyzerly again to see if there's any stark improvement. And then I do the same two tests to see if there's a difference in the improvement. Whenever you're ready. You're rapidly improving. I, I don't know what to make of that, but I don't feel like crunching any data while I'm drunk. OK. And it's all about the data. Oh. Adam, who also blew .07, completes his non-coffee control test. 32! <laughs> so it's back to the bar. Adam treats himself to a few cups of Joe, so he and Jamie are back on a kind of even keel. <laughs> Here's mud in your eye. <laughs> oh, this is vile. Now for a much-needed spurt of spirits. On the assumption that the average adult male of our size processes, metabolizes, as you might say, one drink per hour, we are having a maintenance drink right now. It's about now we'd normally warn you about excessive drinking, but those two miserable mugs tell the story. This blows. Technique number two for sobering up is vigorous exercise. Uh, At Adam's the guinea pig. It's all a numbers game. And here's a few more to consider. Adam has to run this treadmill for five minutes at six and a half miles per hour. This is scary. 
His blood alcohol is 0.09. Concentrate on this. Adam's hung a green screen for inspiration, but then realizes it won't work because he can't see it. Some decisions really are best made sober. One minute. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Look, we picked a treadmill because it's compact, it makes it easy for us to film this thing. But now that I'm looking at it, I remember that it takes a fair amount of coordination just to stay on the damn thing. And Adam's drunk. What can I say? Even soused, the man's a prophet. Whoa! Ah! Oh! Okay. I'm totally cool. Now, here's two advantages to being drunk as a skunk. One, he won't feel the pain till tomorrow. And two, Adam's judgment is so impaired, he gets back on the darn thing. I didn't break any bones. <laughs> Ten seconds. Eight. Did my watch break? Six, five, three, two, one. You're done. The good news for Adam's mom is that he's still breathing heavily. There's a lot of competition, but that might be the worst thing I've ever had to do on the show. <sighs> Next.